Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, so in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make your 3D prints look nice and smooth like this one. So I've done a few so far already. When I say a few, I mean about four or five. Um, so we've got this front piece of the car. I've tried out a front bumper and another little piece. This bit went a bit wrong. You see it melted. But yeah, it's, uh, it seems pretty tough. Like It's almost like it makes the plastic stronger. Right, so anyway, you, you came on here to see how it's done. So I'll show you. Right, so the first thing you need, you want to get a 3D printer that's got an enclosure. So this keeps it warm and it stops ABS filament from warping. This, this procedure that we're going to do only works with ABS. So this is very, very important. If you don't have one of these with uh, an enclosure, chances are you're going to have like warping prints. And in some cases it can actually pop off the, off the print bed. But then if you're watching this, you, you would know that already. Right, so first of all, you want to make sure you get your ABS in your printer. And then secondly, you want to be setting your layer height to 0.1 mil. So as you can see with these prints, they do have a very fine lines. You can just about see them if you look closely. And you can see all the square edges and stuff. They probably won't be there afterwards. But yeah, I've done two of them, so we can test one of them. And then we can compare it to how it was before. Right, so this is a tank. So it's a clear plastic tub made of um, polypropanol or something like that. It's got a PP on the bottom, so as long as you make sure that your container's got a PP on it, then you know it's not going to dissolve in the acetone. So there you go, it's got the little PP symbol just underneath the triangle. You can just about see it. So also you need to have some mesh, or just anything, just so that the part's not sitting in the acetone. So what we're doing is going to have a thin layer of acetone at the bottom, and then we rest our parts onto the, the metal grill. This is just so that there's no direct contact and we're just using the fumes of the acetone to melt the outside layers of the plastic. Right, so acetone, you can get it quite cheap. You can get it off Amazon, eBay, or you might even be able to use nail varnish remover. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, you just pour it into the tank. Try not to get any splash on the metal because when you put your plastic bits on, they're going to end up sitting on it and it might get a bit concentrated on that spot. and definitely don't light it. No, no smoking, make sure you've got no flames around it because this, this vapor is really flammable. Right, so these are our pieces. We're gonna just put one in there and then we'll leave it in there. We'll start a countdown timer, not a countdown timer. We'll start a normal timer so we can see how long it's been in there for. And then, as I say, at the end, we'll be able to check. <coughs> So another thing, yeah, you got to make sure your, your container's got a lid on it, the seals and it's airtight, otherwise you're going to have fumes leaking out and your room's going to end up smelling like acetone and also the pressure's not going to, well, not pressure, um, you're going to get gas leaking out and it won't have the same effect. Okay, so it's been about two hours and we're just going to have a little check just to see how it's doing. So you can see it's starting to get a little bit shiny, some of the lines are slowly fading away, but there's still room for improvement, so we're just going to... I'm just gonna have a good look at it just so you can see the progress. I mean, it's not perfect. Well, obviously you can take it out whenever you want, you know, but I'm sure you want it to go as smooth as possible. The only thing is the smoother it gets, the less detail it has. Right, so we'll just leave it another couple of hours and then have another look. So this is after four hours. So you can see it is getting pretty smooth now. So even on the edges, you can see it's sort of taking away some of the detail, but there is still lines. So it's gotta be a little bit longer. It, it is looking good so far. You can definitely tell that it's going a bit glossy. Yep, we'll just close that up and leave it in for another hour. Alright, so this is it. Hopefully this is done now. Yeah, that looks good. Right, so when you take it out of the tub, you've got to make sure that you handle it really carefully because it's soft. What it does, it sort of melts the outside layers and it sort of makes them a bit squishy. So if you're not careful, you can end up getting fingerprints all over your work. But yeah, you can see it's, uh, it's done a really good job so far. Um, we're just gonna have to leave it for a few more hours now, just to sort of, I think the acetone's gotta evaporate back out of it, but I'm not 100% how it works. But you can see there's a, quite a significant improvement. It definitely looks a lot, um, a lot smoother. 
you know, I was thinking I was going to have to fillet some of the edges, but after doing this, it just kind of smoothens them out for me. The only thing is, it's sort of taken away... Well, we've almost completely lost the logo, but that's not too bad. I mean, there's something else that we can do with that. So I think next time we're going to try maybe masking off certain areas, um, just to see if we can sort of make it so it leaves the logo, bits like that. Right, anyway, um, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. And if you want to see more of this, I'm going to end up doing the whole switch car like this, so it'll be all nice and shiny. Right, so if you like the video, don't forget to like, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Alright, and thanks for watching.